So this is our sample video that comes with Timer Pro. Uh, there is an activity in here called Load Cage. If we double click on it, you can see the operator is having quite a struggle here to get this uh, loaded here. He could hurt himself doing that and he could potentially damage the product here. That's actually a part of a series of activities that Stockman does. You restart it and use the slider to find the start point here. So you can see here he drags the trolley in. Not a great deal of stress here, obviously. And then he's going to position it. And he's going to walk around. Then he's going to grab the cage and pull it back. Obviously, this is where the most stress is happening here. Also here when he's trying to control it, laying it down. And then he's going to walk away. So what we can do is we can take this information, we can pass it over, give it a couple of seconds, and the information presented to us in the balance area. From here, I can come over here at the right button, I could do video training, and I can actually select the second element and just play the video from here. Just going to play each of the steps and turn the way we broke it down here. As we go into the second activity, though, there's a series of different conditions that the operator goes through. So maybe we want to analyze it here, but we might want to go back to the video and break it out in more detail. And that's what we're going to do here. Here's the final step where he walks away. So to do a high level ergonomics view of this, you're in your home ribbon. You'll change it from value added, non value added, which is the default to ergonomics. Then you'll double click on the offending item and you'll play the video back from here and you'll pause it when you see an issue. Again, you can click on the lower back here. No stress, light, moderate, severe. I'm going to say it's pretty severe. On the back, he's reaching with his right arm. We'll give a moderate stress on the arm and hand. And since you get the video, you can see he's standing on one foot, so we pick that up as well. We identify the types of stress, so it's lifting, it's force, it's posture, twisting and turning, but not repetition, eye strain, temperature, environment. What percent of the video clip? This is a clip that's playing right now. I'll say 50% here. Then we can go into more detail. So we might go to the mobility of trunk and we might say it's dynamic 20 to 60 degrees. I'd say that's a fair statement there. And we might go down to the relocating of loads and scroll down and we have an option in here for the push and pull. So we can say, what is the weight? And I'll say it's uh, 30 kilograms and that's in the valid range here. The uh, what frequency and distance is pull, and it's a short pull, obviously. The body posture is very bad. And the condition of execution is very difficult. It's restricted there. The position accuracy is low. And the moving speed is slow. And uh, the cart is exclusively here. And we might put a note in here, needs help. And it uh, could damage product. And then, of course, we could print that out if we wanted to send it out to the people on the floor. So we can do that here at a high level, but maybe we want to go back to the actual Video Timer Pro and do a more detailed analysis of the entire job that this operator is doing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to analyze the work content of the operator bringing the cage in, positioning it, loading the cage up, and the cage aside here. So here I've got it in three steps, but perhaps we want to break it into more detail here. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to uh, do a new study. I'm going to import the video, so I go to File, I go to Select Video. Now we give you this one as part of the package. You can go and get it, Applied Computer Services uh, Samples, and you'll find it here, it's a teardown1.mpg. You bring it in, of course, you can play it directly from here. What I want to do is find the position in the video where the stock man arrives here. So here he is coming in here. So we're going to say this is cage into area. So I'm just going to analyze each of these pieces in turn. And as he changes position, I'm going to create different elements. So I'm going to hit the start button. Stop it right there. And that's going to be cage into area. And I hit the save. I hit the start button again. And now he's going to position the trolley here. And that's going to be position trolley. And then I'm going to hit the start button again. It's going to be walk around. Walk to cage. Obviously, there's no stress there, but we'll save it anyway. 
and then we're going to hit the start button, reach for cage. Pull cage. And you change position about there, so I'm going to say pull cage. Lower cage. I'm just going to call out my walk. Walk to trolley. Trolley aside. Trolley aside. So what I'd done previously in three steps, I've now broken it into eight individual steps. And we're going to assign the ergonomic stresses to each of these. So I can come up here, I click on the drop down, I switch from my time study to the ergonomics. And that makes the space for the ergonomics here. I'm going to go to the cage into area and I'm going to double click in the ergo field on that row. And it brings it up. So now I can play back the video directly from here. So it's basically just the right arm pulling it here. So I might put some moderate stress, that's actually some light stress put on that arm here. Right, and that's just going to be, it's going to be some force. And it's going to be probably about 80% uh, of the video right here. And I save that. You see that it changes color to green here. That's the level of stress here. Position trolley, same thing again, double click on the ergo. And now he's putting a little bit of pushing on it. Again, not a great deal. Maybe you say moderate. So I could say moderate on this player again if I wanted to it. Again, it's the right arm, so say moderate stress. And it's just going to be some force. Uh, nothing else really. I'll say that's probably about 70% of this one here. Of course, I can go into more detail if I wanted to as I go along. I might say some body force here. Body posture is standing upright. Right. And the force direction is basically a push. And then I'm going to walk the cage. And there's not going to be any stress on that. We can play that one back here. So obviously there's nothing happening here. No stresses at all. And then go to the next one, which is reach for cage. And now he's going to start doing some bending over here. Okay, so there's, that's going to be flex forward greater than 40 degrees. It's probably about 40 degrees, so let's just say it's that one right there. The standard group is going to be a little bit of posture. There's a little bit of twisting and turning. Let's say it's 100% as a bend forward here. And then we're going to save that. We have to do some stress here. So it's going to put some stress on the foot here, probably doing that right there. And then maybe a little bit about in the back here. As he leans forward. Okay, so we have that right there. We click on the save. You see it's color coding all these. And now he's going to pull the cage. This is going to be the big one here. So we double click on this and now we play it here. So this is obviously, go back to the standard group here, putting some stress in the back. Moderate stress on the arms here, pulling it. And there's going to be some stress on the uh, on the foot as well. This is the heart of the one we were looking at before here. So we can say it's definitely lifting, it's force, it's posture, it's twisting and turning, maybe 60% here. And then we're going to go to some more detail in mobility of the trunk, so it'd be dynamic. Let's say 60% relocation of loads. In this case, it's going to be, you can tell it the weight. So we're going to say the weight. And we're going to say that's 30 kilograms. Uh, he's pulling at a short distance. It's very bad conditions. It's difficult condition of execution. The accuracy is low. It's slow speed. And save that. And then you can lower the cage. Now everything changes here. His position is going to change right here. So you can see he's now going to do, he's now fighting to control that. So really we come back up here. You can see there's a lot of stress on here, a lot of stress on here. And just identify these items right here. It's also not going to be good for his back, I'm sure, not doing that. Look at the angle he's at there, right? So he's really bending over here. And uh, if I play it again here, he's restart. He's basically on that left foot now. So he was on the left foot for about this time there, okay? So this is a really bad condition here. And obviously we're doing force, posture, 
uh, twisting and turning and I'll say it's 100% of this one here. Then we can go to more detail. So let's go to the body force. He's doing a st standing bend. The force direction he's pushing up here. And the frequency, the force could be measured here if you wanted to know what it would be estimated. Let's just estimate a particular Newton count right here. And we've got that. Then we click on the save here. Put it back here. The next walk is obviously not going to have any stress at all. And that's nothing. So we don't. Do anything there and then we do the last one here we'll click here and play it back so you might say moderate stress on the uh, right arm here and a little stress on the on the left here okay and then we're going to say it's standing and walking so say body force uh, standing upright and the force direction is pulling obviously and he's pulling it away there then we say save here. So what we've done is we've identified all of the characteristics here to do with this job here. In the next video, we'll show you what you can do with this information in terms of reporting and summarizing it.